Good afternoon. I'm not happy. Uh, this is the video where I am supposed to be showing you guys my new truck. And as you can see, I'm not in anything I'm normally driving. It's not my new truck either. This is my wife's Jeep. And uh, it's not my new truck because it still hasn't showed up. Uh, if you watched my last video, it was supposed to be here first thing this morning. Well, it was actually supposed to be here a few days ago. But then it got delayed because the dealer who sold it to me and is delivering it uh, wanted to go sightseeing. And then it got delayed again because he had some more sightseeing to do. And then it got delayed again. And it was supposed to be here yesterday, then last night, and then first thing this morning. And I made it very clear that it needed to be here first thing this morning because I had something I needed to do with that truck first thing this morning. Well, first thing this morning has come and long gone and still no truck. So that thing I needed to do first thing this morning is long gone as well and that just cost me a whole bunch of money. So I am very much not happy about this. So now we're taking my wife's Jeep to town because this truck is supposedly in town but he won't tell me exactly where he's at. We're gonna find it, and when we find it, we're gonna take it because he's already been paid for it. So he said he is trying to find a rental car uh, so that he can drive to an airport somewhere, and that he is now not going to deliver it to my house because it's too far. Uh, it wasn't too far when you drove all the way across the country with my truck. It wasn't too far to do all the sightseeing that took days of extra time, but now 20 minutes outside of town is too far. So we're gonna go look around the rental company yards or lots and a couple hotels in the area and see if we can find my truck. And we're going to take that truck. We're going to take it home and then it's gonna be mine. And hopefully we find it either at the hotel he's at or at the rental car place because once I find it, he's going to be on foot from there. So, let's head to town and go find my truck. Okay, update. We are in the Walmart parking lot. Um, I made it very clear to him that I am coming to get that truck and that the best thing he could do would be to meet me here with that truck. So, uh, he has five minutes to get here and then I should have a new truck oh the phone is ringing imagine that let me answer this well we're not in the Jeep anymore as you can see we're in uh, this thing and it's got one of these uh, flippy roof things so that's cool uh, I didn't film all that because I didn't think it would go very well and it didn't um, not nice things were said and family friendly channel thing at all so uh, I'm on my way home now and once I get there I will show you what I got and then there were two three actually red truck Dodge new Dodge this is a Ram 3500 Laramie which is their um, fancy high-end version and uh, it's got all the Bells and whistles type of stuff I've act I've never had in a vehicle before. It's a uh, cup holders in the door. I never had that, but got the fancy interior, all the heated seats and navigation and a bunch of other stuff I've never had before. Even got a sunroof. That's cool. Yeah, this is my, I've been wanting a nice truck for a long time truck, so I got a truck. Uh, the getting it part didn't go so smooth, but it's here, I got it. And I'm not a super fan of the black, but I'm thinking of maybe doing a wrap on it like that uh, pearl kind of flaky, metal flaky white, I think would look good. But um, it is a really nice truck, definitely the nicest thing I've ever owned. got the Cummins in it um, with stuff and uh, built transmission, four-wheel drive, all that fancy stuff. I have a set of uh, 30 
sixes coming for it. So those should be here soon and we'll get it all done up. And I know your question. Casey, how are, oh, parking brake. It's even got a working parking brake. Man, I'm moving up in the world. But I know your question. Casey, how are you gonna tow things without a tow truck? If you sell your tow truck, I will show you. Okay, so how we tow a car without a tow truck is we either grab this wireless controller here or this wired controller here. And then we put it in reverse. Oh, by the way. And look at this sneaky thing right here coming out. Now we back up under our car. Grab onto it. Pick it up. And away we go. And when we're all done, we put it back in reverse so the camera stays on. We set it down. We let go of it here. And then off we go. Fancy, fancy. Okay, since you probably want to see how it works from the outside, we're backed up to my little junkyard car here. And I say, if anybody wants this thing, come get it. Maybe I'll even deliver it if you're close. But we got our remote control. We uh, lower our wheel lift down. See, it's got a hitch and everything off the bottom of it. We lower it down. Open up our arms. And this thing goes under the car here. And then these arms come around and grab the tire from the inside out. And then up the car goes. See how high up the car goes. Oh, the car goes up very high. And then we set it back down. Give a little open up on our arms here. This would be a lot smoother if I had both hands on the controls and not trying to film at the same time, but whatever. This goes in. We close our arms. Wow, that's snappy. But those pop out and then pop in. And then it folds on up. Tucks right up against the bumper there. It does stick out a little bit. It's not like super, super sneaky. So you can still tell it's tow truck or now I'm for sure gonna have everyone thinking I'm the repo truck, no doubt about it. But yeah, this is gonna be uh, quite a bit different. And I think I'm gonna like it because I've never had anything this nice. So still not gonna do repo stuff, still not gonna do impound stuff and all that stuff, even though now I have the perfect truck for it. But um, this is gonna do great. Uh, I can go off road, out the forest service roads, all that. It's gonna be a much nicer ride, more maneuverable out, out there than the uh, red tow truck. Uh, it has a gooseneck hitch in the back for the gooseneck trailer that's gonna go with it. So I can haul some bigger stuff, uh, equip small equipment, two cars at once, things like that. And it'll be a great gooseneck truck. And the good thing is I'm hauling cars on the gooseneck trailer and I gotta go get a broke down one. I can unhook, go grab the thing, back it up onto the trailer, done. Super easy. Pull it out of a dealer's lot or something like that, or a repair shop's lot, and throw it on the trailer for the long distance stuff. So this truck's going to let me do some different stuff, more um, long distance towing, more off-road stuff. It's not as much of a tow truck tow truck as that red one, um, but it's, it's a different type of truck. It'll be a little more versatile for me since I don't need like a full-on wrecker tow truck so yeah this is it um, I'm excited about it it's like I said nicer than anything I have ever owned so uh, let's uh, go back over here to the house and uh, show my wife what I spent all my money on and uh, 
that will be it for this video we will see you guys uh next time hopefully out using this thing so i mean i can keep both so maybe see ya